Hey traders, it's Danielle. Welcome to today's free video. So today in the stock market, you can see that, you know, as of right now, S&P futures are down about half a point. Not a big deal, really. Why? Well, because the market has been incredibly strong, particularly since we broke through the 50 period simple, which came all the way back in, in June. And honestly, we haven't even really been able to see a pullback whatsoever. Now, while we have been looking for a potential pullback in the market, you also have to understand that we're coming right up onto earnings season. And that's gonna be the main driver for this market. And honestly, I'm going into earnings season pretty bullish. We'll see what happens with, uh, with banks. Sorry, that was supposed to be a B. With the banks starting tomorrow. But honestly, as we get into next week, I'm very bullish. So. What does that mean? Well, when we're sitting here right at lifetime highs, you're not really going to be able to buy the dip. It makes it pretty much impossible to buy the dip because there's not a dip. You're gonna have some random news related events like uh, Roku pulled back today. That was a buy the dip situation. But for the most part, when you're at lifetime highs, the one thing that you can focus on as an options trader, now keep in mind, this is not for stock, okay? Unless you want to day trade. This is really for short term options traders. Why? We can get in and out quickly. We can use our leverage. And the one thing that I'm looking at is I'm looking at short squeezes, okay? so. Whenever the market gets up to previous all time highs, it's pretty much the best thing. It's the best time to look for short squeezes. Why? Well, that's because you have funds or traders or whoever shorting some of these key stocks. And as the market continues to go higher, they're sitting there saying, oh my gosh, how is this happening? And they have their stops all up at the previous highs. And then what happens? The market keeps going higher. They get stopped out. And as the shorts are getting stopped out, number one, shorts are getting stopped out, so they're getting squeezed. But number two, the market is still heading higher. So they basically have buyers coming in and shorts getting stopped out and it sends these stocks skyrocketing. So we always go and we look to our list of high short interest stocks. So within the Simpler Trading Scanner, this is one of my favorite scans, the Daily Pop Candidate. As you can see, there are a lot of stocks on this list. Now, of course, I'm gonna narrow them down and I'm gonna go over the ones that I'm looking at for the potential short squeeze. Now, AMD, I was on Fox today right at the close and I had to run out in the middle of the day, which was awesome, really enjoyed it, but I did miss my entry on AMD. I've been stalking this thing forever. Um, you know, we got in again around the 50 period simple and I am targeting this overhead extension target, which is 35.83 and then 37.78. But you know what happened today that was so critical was this previous high was breached. It went out on almost the highs of the day and it was up three and a half percent. You know what happens when something has 12% high short interest and it goes out on the highs? Guess what? Tomorrow morning when the market opens, the shorts are gonna say, oh my gosh, I have to cover. And they're gonna get out of their positions and it's gonna send it even higher. So for AMD, um, like I said, I have a long-term swing position on this, but especially if we're starting to see some upwards momentum tomorrow, it could be a great opportunity to come in and day trade it to the upside. Now, I wish I had a lower time frame set up, like a 30 minute or 15 minute, but honestly, the setup is just the fact that it's a short squeeze and it has earnings next week. So that's one that I'm eyeing for a potential breakout. AXSM, now I haven't traded this one before, but this one has 28% high short interest. and. It has a great five star Phoenix pattern on the daily chart. You can see the way that it has pulled back. Boom, boom, right to the 21. We have an upcoming earnings report. We've had volume staying above zero. And even better, we have a lower time frame 195 minute squeeze. So that gives me an overhead target of 
$29, $30 about, and it's also pretty liquid. Last week, we talked about TTD, and you know, I didn't realize when I did the video on TTD last week that this has such high short interest, but we talked about this one last week. I still love the technical setup, and once I was looking at my short interest scanner and I realized there's still 13% high short interest, I would love nothing more than a breakout here to trade it up to 270. So that's another option for a shorter term time frame trade. Uh, beyond that, you know, it's it's pretty difficult to come in and try to buy some of this stuff at the highs. That's why we stick to a lower time frame chart. Um, but as you can see, I mean, a lot of these high short interest names, those are the ones that are that are up so high today. So if you can get any of them on a slight pullback, that's great. Um, and some of them I'll be doing a little bit more aggressive short term buys just for, you know, a fun breakout options type of trade, especially on AMD. So beyond that, I hope you have an excellent rest of your day. And I also wanted to let you know that I am going to be having a webinar this Thursday that I'm very excited about. And this webinar is going to be called Triple Stacked Profits. So, you know, I've taught several different classes. I've taught the five star strategy. I've taught Phoenix. We've talked about stock picking. We've talked about buying long calls, buying puts. This is something entirely different. Right now, what I'm mainly focusing on is how to really stack your profits. So, you know, getting 80% on a spread, that's great. That's kind of like short, steady, income type growth. What I've done over the course of the past couple years is I've really learned how to maximize that. So what we're doing is we're basically taking the Phoenix setup, we're taking the five star setup. Those are setups. But then what you do is you add this method where you come in and you really learn how to maximize your options strategies and the power of options. And you take everything you know and you elevate it to the next level. So. Come and join me for my webinar on Thursday, July 18th. If you want to check out the link, it's slash triple. Make sure you check that out right there. Sign up and we'll be talking about this method on Thursday. Hope you have a great rest of your Monday and beyond that, I'll see you soon.